If your 69086 has given you erratic readings or the bars are falling on your readout, it could be because the wrong sensor number is programmed into your gauge, or you have replaced your sensor and have not programmed the new sensor number in. This tech tip video will show you how to program your sensor number into your 69086 vacuum gauge. With the gauge turned off, connect the sensor to the end of your sensor cord. If you have the newer style cord and sensor assembly that is fixed, make sure the cord is plugged into the bottom of your handheld. Press and hold the sensor setup button and turn the gauge on. Continue to hold the sensor setup button until the following display appears. The six digit number that's across the top of the display is the sensor calibration number that's currently in memory. These digits need to be changed to match the number on the new sensor. The six digit sensor number can be found on the label that's wrapped around the sensor. The parentheses on the display indicate the digits that are being edited. Use the units button to change the number in parentheses. Each press of the units button will increase the increments by one. If you go beyond the desired number, continue to press the units button until the desired digit appears again. When the digit on the display matches the digit on the sensor label, press the sensor setup button to move to the next digit position, and the parentheses will move to the next digit position on the display. Repeat until all six digits match the digits on the sensor label. If any of the digits do not match, turn the gauge off and repeat the process. When the final digit is completed, press the sensor setup button. The normal readout display will appear. The gauge is now ready for use with the new sensor. Thank you for watching this Yellow Jacket technical tip video. If there are any other tech tip videos you would like to see, post them on our ideas page at www.yellowjacketuniversity.com.